Good evening. Sometimes on the farm you've got to improvise. You've got to kind of make things work. One of the headaches we have is up in our bigger barn. We've got a scale and a lot of times when we're up there by the scale we want to have the goats. But we've got no stand nor head gate. So I'm going to take some square tubing and a angle bracket mount that I've got laying around and I'm going to make um, kind of a do-it-yourself um, uh, kind of like stand that I can mount up there that I can take one of our um, uh, stand platform tubes and slide into. We have um, a portable stand with a winch down in the goat barn. It's got a head gate on it. It's got a horned head gate on it. And it's got a stand head on it. So it's got three heads for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this stand out of um, one and a quarter inch uh, metal tubing. And I'm going to put it up in the large bar next to my scale and stuff. And then I can take like the stand head and drop it in there. And that way when we're weighing goats or possibly doing a shot or working on a hoof or something up there, we'll have a nice way of keeping them to the wall. I think it should work really well. Um, no, I'm certainly not the best welder, folks. I never have been. I've been learning my talent from a neighbor who does a lot of professional welding, and I'm getting better. But I'm I'm still not perfect as I start to figure out, you know, the difference between a, a 7018 and a 6018 rod and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, so in this situation, I am going to fall back on, you know, just my standard, you know, stick weld. Um, I feel more comfortable with it than the uh, MIG weld right now. And... Um, I'm going to throw it together, trying to put it so that I've got kind of a nut welded to one end, and then I'm making like a 12-inch, you know, T out of it, and then that T I'm going to mount to the plate, and then I'm going to mount that to one of my 4x4 big posts inside the arena, and then I can drop the, the headpiece in it and adjust it um, where I weld the nut on. Now, one of the things that I tried to make this you know be able to do is take smaller goats so I'm going to stick it closer to the ground and then allow like I said the, the nut to allow it to adjust the headpiece so I can go up for the larger goats because I never know what size of goat we're going to bring up to the scale sometimes we bring two three goats up to the scale and be nice to hold them so this is kind of my unpainted prototype I've I've welded the base onto it there I've got a nut on it um, you know it's it's looking pretty good I'm, I'm getting it I'm getting it straighter here this is the headpiece for the stand that you can use, and it does fit. And I'm going to, I haven't been using this because down on the portable stand, we've been using the, um, the one that's made for horns, the stanchion gate for horns on it. So I've got this one for it laying around. But this would be easy to make out of, out of steel if you needed to, too. And then I'm just going to spray it with cold galvanization because I don't have hot galvanization. <laughs> But I like um, galvanization. It, it seems to hold up better than a lot of things um, that are painted in the barn. I'm not saying Rust-Oleum's bad by any means, because um, this is a Rust-Oleum product. But typically, Rust-Oleum paints haven't held up the best for me, even with primer. But this darn cold galvanization stuff really seems to hold up. And if I put that down first, and then even if I want to paint it, it just holds up so much better. So again, I'm going to cold galvanize spray this this whole piece of metal and hopefully it'll last for many many years and then um, once this dries I'm going to take this nut out and I'm going to weld a little bolt across the top so I can turn it and tighten it easier with my fingers instead of using a wrench and then uh, put it up on the wall and I think it'll work absolutely fantastic so the plate at the bottom I looked it up uh, on the hardware store website Menards cost six bucks um, one five foot piece of one and a quarter um, is about ten dollars um, and then if you had to make the head piece you need a one inch piece of square tubing uh, three feet long and then you would need um, a flat eighth inch uh, piece of steel six by eight to bend into the head piece all that said and done you could build this whole entire project for under 60 bucks if you got a welder I'm gonna put it right here on that post there's where my scale is um, that way, when I got an animal waiting to be weighed or an animal that we're going to work on after we weighed it or poke it after we weighed it, it'll be right here. This is kind of what I'm thinking. I put a level on it just to make sure it's nice and straight. Again, I've got it close to the ground, but that gives me a lot more adjustability. I'm taking great big um, leg uh, galvanized bolts, and I'm shoving those into this post. 
want it to be nice and sturdy. Um, as you can see, I, I probably got a little bit of overweld there as I welded it to the plate. Again, I'm not the best welder. And then um, I'm going to drop my headpiece in. I'm going to find out where I kind of want to start it. And then I'm going to tighten up the bolt. And again, we're going to weld a little cross bolt on that so I can move it with my hands. The goats just stay in this um, by the chain around the back of the neck. Uh, we use the plastic chain. That way, if they ever get into a bind, in theory, they could break it and get away. Um, I'm not really big into real metal chain on the back of their necks. So this is my stand, folks. This is what it looks like. Got a little piece of rubber there I put on the front of it just so they can't hurt themselves. And uh, I think this will work really good. So um, what we're going to do now is I'm going to go down to the barn. It's getting to be evening here. I'm going to grab myself uh, one of my middle-sized bucks because they're pretty strong, and I want to know if this is going to hold up. And I'm going to see if I can take my uh, middle guy, King, and put him on here. Oh, I think he weighs probably a hundred and oh, he's probably pushing 150 pounds now. So this is Anna. She's got him on here. He's got the chain around him. He's just standing here like a pretty good boy. This is nice. Um, he fidgeted a little bit when we put it on him, but um, it's working great. It's another little project where I'm using a piece of equipment that I had laying around, a little bit of tubing, and I'm getting her done, folks.